What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and the first Idiots Go Car Shopping of 2016. If you've not seen an Idiots Go Car Shopping video on Supercars of London before, it's quite lighthearted, it's a lot of fun and basically we just go down to a local supercar dealership or a car dealership, check out some of the cars that they've got in stock, but we go in a convoy, we always take as many cars as possible. And today we have got TGE in the AMG GTS Edition 1, which is actually owned by Velocity Cars. Tom is just borrowing it for the weekend. We've got Sam's F-Type Project 7 Coupe R. We've got Sam's Porsche GT4, which looks awesome in the anonymized Porsche details. And then we've got my Lamborghini. So we're gonna drive in convoy to Romans International, a supercar dealership based in Surrey. I've never been there, and um, I'm really excited to see what stock they've got. There's gonna be a few photos being taken, which you would have seen on Instagram already. I'm really excited about today. I've been following Romans for about 12 to 13 years on social media and also just checking out their stock list they've always got some awesome cars in so let's jump in our cars go for a bit of a drive and then check out what romans have got i'm doing it i'm doing it do you need me to i'm not no no, no. <laughs> i'd already moved it just... are you going in nose first yeah it's a really it's a really long nose so i'll guide you in put it in a gear <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Okay, stop, stop, stop. So here he is, Mr. Alex Penfold. Alex Penfold. Can you Photoshop the smoke out of my car? No, you've just ruined this for everybody. I don't know why you've been so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to point the nose in. Should I point the nose the right way around? <laughs> you, you could do. I'm going to. Windows up. You need, the, you need to put the windows up for the photo. <laughs> TG is actually recovering from a virus, so this is probably the last thing he wants to be doing. <laughs> Maneuvering his car around. Get it! Get it! We'll see if Romans have one for sale. <laughs> Red, yellow. Another yellow crew. going off but we have made it there is Romans International it's got an Aston Martin Vanquish out the front I've never been here before but it looks insane look at the cars I'm excited to check out what they've got they've got tons of stuff oh my god I'm excited Tom doing his best at blocking the traffic from this junction here And it is just the other side of this Ford dealership, Romans International. I saw tons of Aston Martins. I saw a 430 Scuderia. What have you got to say? Hello. Hello. Are you going to buy a car today? Uh, yeah, probably. I'm probably going to trade this one in. Okay, great. Yeah. <laughs> Tom's saying he's going to trade in the AMG GTS, which is Velocity Cars. It's not his. So the world's dirtiest Lamborghini is parked quite far away from Romans. Romans is here with the C63 parked outside. I have no idea where any of the other people have parked, but as I parked up there, the Range Rover left from right out the front. So, I mean, that would have been ideal. What a surprise. Oh, there's, there's the yellow crew. Huh? 
Yeah, I saw the 4C, so there's a 4C here. It's a bloody MC12 there. Sam, MC12. <laughs> We've got... <laughs> We've got a Vanquish. Seven different cars that I already want. Yeah, this place is insane. I always said they've got some amazing stock, um, but FF, Vanquish, MC12 and an Enzo in there. We are going to go in there, but let's just start on the forecourt out here. Oh my God. I don't know where to start. They've got a Scooter here. Scooter here. There is a Scooter here. I've literally seen so many cars that I have in This place is unbelievable. So, 200 grand for a 430 scooter rear. It was less than nine months ago, and they were what, 140? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So but these have. The really nice, it's got like that clothy grey interior, which I love. Not that, not that the viewer can see the grey interior. Grey They've got V2 Advantage here. It is convertible, but it's oh, a V2 Advantage. Hello. LMX. Oh my god, they're just on everything. Right there. Because the Range Rover left as I just parked up there. We've got a stunning fire orange M6 Maserati. We've got an MC Stradale here, which is epic. £95,000 for that. It's got ice on it still. It was so cold this morning when I woke up. We've got a Rapid S. We've got a lovely Bentley here. And then look at this. Oh my God, they've got a 16M. Sam, they've got a 4C and a 16M. Okay, that we're going to look at in a second. Look at this. This is useless. <laughs> Even launch edition, what's it doing? <laughs> There's not many dealerships where you have such an epic array of cars. We've got the sports cars, we've got the cruisers, we've got the super sports cars, we've got the incredible super super cars. This is 280,000 pounds, but for 22,000 pounds, you've also got this mini, which is looking awesome. And then in the back, you've got F12 and a McLaren 12C, like. Range Rover SVR. This place just has everything. Look at that Defender that's just turned up. That is mad. So yes, Romans is definitely my new favorite dealership to come and just drool over the sorts of cars that they have. In a minute, we're gonna go inside and we're gonna check out the Ferrari Enzo, the MC12, and all sorts of other stuff. Oh, I think, every, I think everyone's going, so we're going. This is Seb's new, new daily. <laughs> An upgrade from the Lotus. Like, isn't it? <laughs> no, Sam, please don't. <laughs> don't get in it. Well, they let me. I could just hang my legs on the other side. I don't think. I don't think adults can fit in there, to be honest. I reckon. Yeah. But oh my god, I've not seen one of these forever. I think I've seen three Maserati MC12s in my time. Two in London and one at a motor show, but oh my god, this thing is ridiculous. It's so long, and they're basically the same engine. The MC12 was the Enzo rival. And look at the interior, really, really good visibility out the back of the MC12. You can see pretty much nothing because this is where the engine sits. I don't even want to try and get through that gap. This Enzo, how much is the Enzo? 2.5 apparently. 2.5 million. 2.5 million, it says price on application here. So this, this is technically a million less. This is 1.4. Maybe 1.4, I don't, 1.4 and this is 2.5. How many of those? Less, I think less than them. 300 and something. So 500 is yeah. <laughs> 500. What, the Enzo? Yeah. Oh, look at these. I don't want to drop my phone. Yeah, but imagine driving this down the road. This, like. They're not all worth this. This is just because it's delivery miles. Yeah, yeah, there's so low miles. 1.4. Yeah, how many miles has it done? 300. No, 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 137. What? 137 miles from new. Sam's getting up a guy that's got a Pagani wire with a cup holder in. Why? Why? You're asking whether the Enzo's got a cup holder. I don't know. Sam is obsessed with Starbucks. I don't know. It's essential that you have a cup holder. It's essential in every car that Sam has. Whether it's new or old, classic or modern, it needs a cup holder. I, wouldn't, I would love a classic car. Would you love a classic car? I'd love a classic car. What kind of era? 
1990-ish. Oh, really? Yeah. Fair enough. Interesting. What, 89 what, what, car, what cars do you get in that sort of I'm era? You get some good Ferraris. Ferrari were good at that era. Yeah. They're worth too much, I think. I don't know if you get a good deal there. <laughs> good deal. Some, something like high mileage than usual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you see all of these like med, mega Ferraris, like F40s that have got low miles. Exactly, but if you could find, for example... An F40. Yeah. With, high, with a do high... Think, do you like them? Do you like it? The dream. Oh, F40. Oh, okay. The dream. Nice. The dream. What about an F50? Should we ask if the guys have got any? F40. But F40s don't have a cup holder. Oh, not a question, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Done. Scrap it. Scrap it immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Coming in Sam's Jack because it's cold outside. I want to sign. I just want to sign off from the video. With my lovely heated seats. Oh yeah, I don't get that luxury in my car. <laughs> no. Um, anyway, that is the end of the video. So Sam and Tom over there are probably discussing about how they can both join own that Land Rover in mint green. <laughs> That'd be a cool combo actually. It would be a cool yeah. combo. They should just get both of them get to be honest. Them, yeah. <laughs> anyway, what an awesome stock the Romans International have. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, and you can't see any any footage on Sam's channel because he hasn't been filming. He's been taking pictures like Alex Penfold on his yes. camera. I look forward to seeing the ones. I can't you. wait to not <laughs> post any. Because <laughs> that'll be blurring out of focus. <laughs> anyway, that is the first Idiots Go Car Shopping of 2016. We are going to hopefully go to a lot more car dealers hopefully see some really cool cars maybe some not in the UK Monaco potentially Dubai oh, okay. I imagine if we go to LA what's he talking about <laughs> <laughs> so I think they're getting in the car so I'm going to have to jump out and jump in my car we're going to go and grab some lunch thank you for watching please give it a thumbs up if you haven't already um, or if you like this video and like the Idiots Go Car Shopping series and click subscribe if you haven't because there's going to be a lot more it's dragging on a bit isn't it <laughs> yeah. and then just and if you follow me on Twitter <laughs> and you follow me on Facebook Twitter, Facebook uh, all Snapchat. of the links are in the description below my Snapchat, Snapchat. Snapchat. my Snapchat isn't actually I probably should but anyway thank you for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you very very soon <laughs> and if you want to check out <laughs> no, yeah cool good joke absolutely perfectly five minutes into the journey and I'm trying to get my head around the value of this car. It's a 2012, so it's three, even though we're in 2016, we're barely in 2016, so I'll still class it as three years old. Three years old for a 2012.